All right, hey everybody, welcome back. Has anyone else's summer just evaporated? So it's late August, and I don't know where the summer went, but here we are. And uh, today, I'm gonna have a look through all three hives, uh, and I'm going to do a Varroa test on the Italian hive. So in the last video, you saw the Italian hive was doing so well, I added a third box to the brood chamber. Uh, and I have not been in here in over two weeks. I was going to do a video on the Russian hives, and I actually went into the Russian hives. I did a quick check about a week ago, and there was really nothing to report. There was no new food being stored. Um, they were they were doing okay. It was a lot of brood, but there was just no nothing stored. So I've actually put food on the Russians. Uh, it's probably gone by now, but that was about a week and a half ago. So today, I'm going to just have a look in all three hives, see what they're doing, and uh, let's get started. So I apologize for not getting a video out last week. I actually filmed a video with these bees last week, and I did not have time to edit the video. And when I started editing the video, I realized there wasn't much to the video, and I just kind of skipped it. So. The only news I had last week from this hive was there was no food in the hive, but I did see about five or six dead hive beetles in the bottom board, which I'm going to check right now, see if there's anything new down here. There's a live hive beetle, one hive beetle. Just want to see what they have for food stores, see what they're doing up here. Looks like last week. Alright, there is some nectar up here. Capped brood. Larva. Some activity. A little more than last week. Tons of brood up here. Okay, there's a lot of nectar up here. They're finally storing. And I'm assuming this is from all the goldenrod that's out. Because I that that uh, thing of food was on there over a week ago. So that's probably... Yeah, that's all drawn out from last week. That's beautiful. We've got new comb being drawn. That's new. They're storing nectar. There's a tiny bit of capped honey up here. This is great. And they have room to expand. There's, uh, there are three totally empty frames up here. Moving slowly, but doing all right. You just quick, quick look at the bottom. There's a lot of eggs on this frame. There are eggs. I did not see the queen, but there are new eggs in here. So I know she's got to be in there. Someone's laying eggs. There's not a lot going on in this hive. They are storing some nectar up here. There's a little bit of nectar and they're drawing out a new frame that they were not drawing out about a week ago. I did not see the queen, but I did see larva and eggs. So hive, is, you know, they're starting to store something. There's a lot of new bees. There's a ton of goldenrod. There's a lot of forage right now. So hopefully they're learning how to go get some nectar and pollen. There's a lot of pollen in here. So they're out there. Uh, I'm just gonna leave them now, no syrup. And yes, I know I'm putting this on upside down. All right, let's look at hive left. All right, one week ago, this hive had almost no food in it, and I gave them syrup. So this has been on here for about a week, a little over a week, and empty. So I want to see if there's any stores up here in the top, where there were, all, there were just about none last week. There's a lot of bees in this hive, and they're starting to boil up. Just starting to draw some comb here. Capped honey, nectar, that's nice. Drawing out a frame a little bit and a tiny little pattern of larva up here. So the queen is up here laying in that little teeny bit of drawn comb. So that's right in between two other brood frames. That's what the pyramiding does. Checkerboarding, 
pyramiding, whatever you want to call it. I guess that's two different things, but that's what that does. These are two frames of brood I brought up, and that was an empty frame in the middle. They drew it out, and she laid a few eggs in there. Just starting to draw out up here. So the the uh, the idea that this third box was going to be a a comb building factory for the other hive just didn't really take. Um, they're not really drawing a ton of comb. Some comb, but not enough to be spreading around between the hives. Okay, that is a full box. Wow, that is a frame of honey. Here we go. Ha ha! Finally, I'm seeing a frame of honey. This is probably half honey and nectar. So these bees are finally doing something. All right, more nectar, more stores. That's one of my pyramided frames just being drawn out. Tons of, oh, there's the queen. Queen is here at the bottom. Hello, queen. Tons of eggs here. All right, she's right in the middle, right on a nice frame, being drawn out. She's right in the middle here. All right, there is so much brood in this hive. All right, it is nice to see a frame of honey. Okay, that was just a quick check of the Russian hives. Uh, the summary is I saw one hive beetle in hive right. Uh, hive left is booming. They are drawing comb, but not a ton of comb. Uh, and they are both storing nectar, capping honey. So hive right is a little bit slow, but doing well, you know. Hive left is doing great. Uh, they both look good. I didn't see the queen in hive right, but I did see uh, lots of eggs and young larvae, so someone's in there laying. Did see the queen in hive left, so everything seems normal with the Russians. All right, this is going to be a two-parter. I'm going to jump right now to part two, where I'm going to go into the Italian hive, and I'm going to check for Varroa. Go ahead and click it.